Hello everyone, and welcome back to the adventures of Tardy Penis. My boy. Uh, last episode we did, you know, all the, all the, all the good starting bits. And we finally made it here to the Dragonborn Gallery. So let's head inside. We're going to be doing, uh, a, I guess a tour slash tutorial bit. And then after that, we're pretty much in the game proper. Hello, sir. Ah, good day to you, Guildmaster. I trust you are faring well. How goes the excavation? I hit my head very hard. Oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that. I trust nobody was seriously hurt. Just me. That's good to hear. Did Carl inform you I wanted to speak with you? Well, yes, it's a bit of a proposal and a request. We've been cordial neighbors for some time now, the explorers and the museum, that is. And I began to think that it is rather silly that we aren't working more closely with one another. Then Carl told me of the availability of the chief librarian position in your guild, and I thought that I might offer my expertise in that role. In exchange, I was hoping that you and your explorers might be willing to undertake some exploration and excavation of a variety of artifacts. Funded by the museum, of course. I have just completed the majority of the renovations to the building, and would be ready to open officially if I could find some reliable treasure hunters or mercenaries. I think that you and your people would be eminently qualified. So I was thinking that I become chief librarian for the Explorer Society, and you become the relic hunter for the museum. So you buy any of the artifacts we find? Ooh. Well, I was thinking more that I would simply safeguard and showcase Aww. the things you found, offer you funding and occasional finder's fees, and that way you can access any of the collection you provide at your discretion. Sounds good. Excellent. Well, let me give you the ten septum tour then. This building was once called Macnarian Hall and was built as a temple dedicated to Talos, the patron god of the Nords. After the White Gold Concordate, however, the statue was moved and the temple closed. I came here a few years ago and was able to procure use of the space in the pursuit of establishing this museum. Of course, I have had the building vastly expanded over the last two years to accommodate what I hope will become one of the grandest collections of Tamrielic history in the world. This grand atrium I call the Hall of Heroes. It is where a variety of historically significant relics can be displayed. And is quite a striking entrance to the museum, if I do say so myself. Mm, yeah, Off to the right something. is the reception hall and staff barracks, as well as the museum office where I do much of my work. To our left, you'll find the central hallway leading to all the other galleries of the museum, which also serves as the cultural arts exhibit. Here, I hope to display a variety of art, as well as elements representing the more primitive cultures here in Skyrim, such as the Falmer, Forsworn, the Giants, and more. Down here on the lower level, you will find access to the East Exhibit Halls, which houses the Daedric Gallery, the Hall of Lost Empires, Hall of Oddities, and the Hall of Legends, which showcase a vast array of relics pertaining to the Daedra, Dwemer, Fulmer, and ancient Nordic cultures as well as a number of peculiar items that defy simple classification. At the close end of Mods. this hall, the stairwell <laughs> will lead to the Hall of Wonders and Armories in the basement and up to the second floor. There you will find access to the Natural Science Gallery as well as the Dragonborn Hall, where I will commission a variety of displays heralding any of your accomplishments. At the far end of the hallway on both floors, you'll find access to the Grand Library, and here on this floor, the door on the right also connects to the museum office. If you cannot find me in my office, you will almost certainly find me whiling away the hours in the library. Also, you should pick up a copy of the museum guide at the entrance of the museum. It will let you know the schedule of where I'm working, should you need to find me. And it will offer you an easier way of navigating the museum, as well as keep track of how many displays our museum has. Of course, it may take me a moment to update those accounts, so check the guide again if you feel the numbers seem off. I'm sure I'll eventually account for everything. Any items you find for display, you can either manually place them yourself, or utilize the prep station in my office. And I'll ensure everything you have gets properly displayed if it has an appropriate place. I'm likely to have a variety of tasks for you, but in between, I'm sure you could help me find a random relic or two I've been researching. 
Feel free to look around and come find me if you have any questions. I'm very excited about the prospects of where we are headed. Oh, almost forgot. There is a safe house upstairs with all the amenities you could ever want. I don't utilize it much, so you can feel free to. And lastly, I have a few leads for you to get started. First is an artifact I heard is for sale by a general merchant in Helgen named Borgoth. He said he would hold the item for me for a while. He said he would hold the item for me for a while. So it may be best to retrieve it first. The others, well, the notes will tell you all you need to know about them. Well, I think he'll hold it for you for a while. Okay, awesome. So this is where we're going to be doing most of our stuff. Oh, I can just take, take what I want. Wait, can I have that? No. Okay. Good to know. So I love this mod because it basically just turns Skyrim into a sort of collectathon, I'd say. Uh, we can go right here. Uh, you place items in the chest and automatically sorted. <clears throat> so if we go to Tarty Penis, so basically anything that, uh, so this little symbol right here means that, uh, so that's the, the Dragonborn gallery logo. And then if it has a hand, that means that you have one in your inventory. Uh, if it has a check mark, which I don't think any of them would right now, but if I just put in uh, like this bow. So if I just put the bow in and then I exit out. Oh my God, what the fuck is that? Would you like to display? Yes. And then you just wait a couple seconds, do what you want, kind of, and then it'll say that he's placed it. Yes, yeah, see, new displays, total displays two. So now if we find another um, like ancient Nord bow, which I don't know if we have any, but if we did have another one, it would have a check mark next to that thing because it is displayed in our gallery and we can do damn near everything. Like it even it even has spots for a lot of the mods, which is insanity. But then uh, here we can make replicas. Oof, oof, I don't like that. No, no, no. Do that in the third person, <laughs> please. Uh, so basically this is, we can create replicas and put those in the museum so that we can uh, keep the actual item on us, which is real neat just in case there's anything that you want to keep, but you still want to display a clutter chest. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm still learning this too, but I'm just taking my knowledge from what I've picked up. But there's a ton of stuff in this mod. For right now, I think I'm just going to I have all my stuff highlighted here. So I am, oh, wrong button. I keep hitting F to interact. I am gonna put what I can in here for now. So I can't put that. Anything that doesn't have that symbol means that it just straight up can't go. So I don't want anything with a, uh... <sighs> did I just put my fucking bow and arrow away? Where the fuck are the bows? Oh, they're right here. Am I stupid? I might have, I might have done that like an idiot. Oh, well, anyway, I don't really plan on using a bows, but I'll, I'll, I'll keep one on me. So, okay. And then if it has that plus sign, that means that you don't have it in your inventory, but you need it in the museum. But it's just, it's hasn't updated that this is in my inventory because I put it in there and then took it out. Um, 
So I want to keep the steel claws. Iron dagger I don't need. Do I want to keep the halberd? I will keep the halberd. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? This can go. This can go. This can go. As for armor. Oh, you do need a... Uh, Actually, that's pretty good. That I don't need right now, but I'll keep. Should I put the heavy armor in? I'm thinking I should. Fuck it. And then anything else in here? Just those. I don't think it needs anything uh, else. I think it's just equipment. Probably. Yeah, go ahead and sort through that while I take a look around. But this place is huge. But I know, yeah, now we have 10 displays total. Uh, here's the curator's guide. So that should be. What is this? That's probably my mission stuff. Okay, the Curator's Guide is a complete guide to the Dragonborn Gallery. It contains a lot of useful tips about the museum displays, mechanics, quests, and more. You can also use this guide to instantly move to any room in the museum, locate the dude, and uh, keep track of your total display count. A new location can now be reached using it. Oh, okay. Let's read the guide. Holy shit. Yeah, this straight up just has. Oh my God. It literally just says like, this is your tutorial book. Um, I'm actually gonna read that probably in my off time <laughs> in between episodes. But for now, Yes. So we got our quest. Everything else is pretty It's it's relatively empty at the moment. Clearly. Holy shit, that was so loud. I got to turn that down somehow. But uh But yeah, you've got all the I'm assuming these are the masks. Yeah, and the claws, everything. This is all like the, the I think the, the cool like uh, story stuff in this room probably, I'd say. Elder Scroll, dragon. Okay. Could you imagine just having an Elder Scroll? <laughs> in your museum casually yeah that's where we keep it but for now i think we are just gonna go hit up this dude's missions uh how do i world map okay i don't have any of the <laughs> missions activated i don't think okay it just says to meet him at the museum but I did that. Okay. Started on this one. Uh, doop. And where is this at? So we got this. We got Helgen. Where's the other one? Oh, right here. Silent Moon's Camp. Okay, so yeah, actually, I do, before we leave, I do want to check out the, uh, I think he said it was over here, upstairs, the actual living quarters, oh, I'm stupid, <laughs> okay, it doesn't tell me where it's going, awesome, 
<laughs> I thought since it just said open, what the hell? This room's dark as fuck. I don't like that. I'm out. That doesn't look like my bedroom. <laughs> I do want to find that bedroom real quick. Unlock. I will ask him about it, actually. Maybe that's something I have to do to advance the quest. We shall see. Okay, so this is the library bit. I have no idea where that fucking thing is, so let me check the book. Move to museum location, safe house. That's exactly what I wanted. Ooh, this is pretty nice looking. I'm assuming this door... Oh, unlock. Huh. Maybe that leads to the same area. This is unlocked too. I'm not gonna tempt any loading screens here for a second. Aw, oh, excuse me? Cell pile. Yo, okay, so this is just, uh, staves, ammunition, bows and crossbows, so this is all just storage, I really like the, uh, that they give us, uh, hope on what we can achieve, <laughs> yeah, one-handed, two-handed light armor, one swords, yeah, 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 cool, I, cell pile is super interesting, so I can just, I can literally just put in, let's put in these crystals for now, like the amethyst. Oh, well, I need the amethyst and the silver only. Okay, amber. You know what? I don't need amber from the museum. And I don't know how this works. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully it'll do something by the time I figure it out. Holy shit. This is just my house. It's huge. Book return. I wonder if book returns may be like if you took a look book from the library. Okay, cool. Oh my god, this big empty room. Is there a fucking Is there like a furniture thing that I don't know about? Did Skyrim have that originally? I don't remember. I never fucked with any of the houses and stuff. Wow, look at that. Fate card collection. Achievement rewards. What? Okay. <laughs> cool. Scavenge wood pile? Is this just gonna give me wood? Two firewood. Okay, cool. What did that say? Household planner, furniture selections, store housewares. Interesting. I'm not gonna fuck with any of that right at the moment. Store outfit. How to remove change outfit power. Oh, okay. Change outfit power allows you to dynamically swap your outfit with any other stored outfit. Oh, cool. Uh, to which selection in the closet do you want? Uh, the standard attire. Oh, and it's just... Mm, no, we're not doing that. Let's go... <laughs> I guess, let's try alchemy attire. Does that... Excuse me. Are you serious? What the fuck? Open. Bruh. What? Oh, God, no. I fucked this up. Oh, God. I keep hitting the wrong button. Hold on. Something's wrong. Why am I just walking? Why can I not run? Is this like... 
I'll change outfit. Adventuring attire. Hunting gear. Oh, do I have to? Hold on. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I want to move. Oh, so I can pick what it is I want. Oh, hold on. No, did that just unequip everything? Is that why I'm moving so slow? Because I'm over encumbered? <sighs> okay. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, did that take my shit? It seems to have taken my shit. Hold on. I'm losing my mind. These are armor sets. Where's the alchemy attire that I chose? Is it over here? Okay, yeah. That's everything. So, if I use the power... Oh, that's not what I meant. Okay, hold on. How do I magic? <laughs> what is this? Access your chest from the museum safe house. Yeah, but how do I use it? Is it Z? Okay. It's a pow. Okay, so it uses like the the it replaces a shout, I want to say. So if I go work a tower alchemy that gave me all my shit back oh my christ excellent do not ever scare me like that again you put your pants on and you wear them okay jewelry cabinet cool i'll take that i don't i don't, I don't know why i wouldn't yeah, put that in the museum. I don't know why that's at my bedside table. Oh, that's just how I wash my little lizard face. Okay. Okay. Yo. That's sick as fuck. I love it. Harvest lavender? Are you serious? I can just take this shit off my wall. I don't like- oh, it's this. <laughs> oh, whoops. Yeah, but crazy, I just happened to find that. And what the hell is this room? I never even fucking thought about it. I was so concerned with my outfit. Is this just all secret shit? I don't know what this is. Treasury ledger. I wonder what this is. That didn't do anything. Cool. Well, that was super interesting and weird. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. I like it. I'll put my sex swing in there. What the hell is all this? The hell is that? Just kidding. Okay, but I did thoroughly look at this and now I'm done figuring out what the hell I'm doing. So let me go put that stuff into the uh, book. Here it is, grind. Move to just the Hall of Heroes just because I know where to go from here. Oh, and it puts us right in here. Cool. Excellent. So I just want to put that stuff away and then we will be on our way. Uh, it was books, right? Okay, so I can put that in there. That in there. Anything else? Yes, but I, I'll put those in there. Do I need this for something? I really like that coin design though. Like the septums too. The septums look fucking rad. Yeah, that's sick. Anyway. 
they need that. Jade. And then the rest is that. Okay, and then we got the fragments. We got a keystone and a Nordic fragment. And then those, I believe, you can craft stuff with them over here. Uh, hello? Let me... Here we go. Oh my god, again with this. No, stop it. Gotta be in third person for half this shit. Okay, yeah, so... Okay, so it does take, like, 15 fragments and crap. Uh, new display of six. Cool. So I think this is literally just... We make one of each of these as we go, and then we can sell the rest, maybe? That'd be interesting. Take skull. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you for skull. Uh, automatically take acceptable item display items from your inventory and put them on display. The process may take some time. Very hmm. Favorited or equipped items will not be sorted. Uh, uh, no, not right now. God. Like, I don't know what happened, but I cannot see past this fucking lantern on my hip. Like, everything's just so dark beyond that. Let's go in here. I think this is the actual guild part, I want to say. I definitely hear footsteps. I don't think that's right. Oh, here he is. Hello. Oh, Killmaster. Latoria has a gift for you. Oh, Latoria. Latoria is so happy hearing stories from the other explorers of the places they have been. And the places we may go, that Latoria wished to give you something special. So Latoria crafts for you an official Explorer's Society ring. Oh, thank you. Jewelry crafting is something other that Latoria is also good at. She has made the ring for all the members, but this one, she makes special for you. It is magic. If you would like one of the others at any time, you just tell Latoria and she will give you one. Damn, can I sell them? <laughs> Wonderlust added. Oh. Um, can I just get another one? Of course, one? Master. Latoria always has a few extra on hand in case of a new member. Here you are. Is that this? Oh, okay. So that's just... I only get one of the special one. Got it. Thank God, because I would abuse the hell out of that. Um, anything interesting? In fact, Latoria does have something interesting to share. Latoria was with Professor Marassi the other day while he investigated a Nordic burial ruin, and she discovered their lost incantation. Using it on unreadable books reverses their age so they can be once again legible. It only works briefly, so Latoria can only transcribe a page or two before the book turns to ash. That's cool. But if you bring enough ruined books, Latoria could piece together a full text from many ruined copies. Latoria thinks about 20 at a time should suffice, but bring her all you can find and Latoria will give you a copy of whatever she finds. You know what? That's super cool to just turn. I love it when a game just turns junk items into like actually something you need. Because I think uh, Fallout 3 did that too. You could turn in uh, like pre-war books. Uh, what exactly do you uncover from this? Some books, spell tomes, even a possible treasure map or two. Who is to know? Ooh. Be exciting to find out, no? Oh, yeah. What do you think? I think yes. Sounds like a plan. I'll bring you any useless books. Excellent. Latoria eagerly awaits your return. How was that animation? Okay, cool. Hmm. Let's check out that ring she gave me. Um... Wonderlust. Ring of Explorer provides a boost, a boost of movement speed, stamina, and... who Did that take off? What was I wearing? Was I wearing something before? 
I could have sworn it moved from here to here, but I'm I'm stupid. Anyway. I don't know what that is. Who sneezed? <laughs> Hello? Oh, I saw it. We'll just stare at each other for a while. Um, I think. Good. Oh, the way. Shit, I was trying to exit the conversation, but now I just have a follower. What can cool. I do for you, Guildmaster? Uh, ooh, time to split right, up. Then. I'll be at the guild house if you need me. Okay, cool. That's cool that we just get random NPCs to do what we want. Uh, oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. This is the uh, the perk tree system. Uh, oh, we can just take books. Oh, and we can just reset whenever. This will erase all and the points are refunded. There's no cost doing this. That's cool. I like that. So I believe now that we have those books, we can. Ah, yes, they have their own level up trees, but fuck, I didn't level up before. So stamina is good. I'll put some into magic just because I really want to. Undefined, undefined. Interesting. Oh, so it's just perks. Oh, do you want? Uh, yeah, I want that. What kind of joke is that? Oh, shit. There we go. This just increases capacity. 50% bonus to blocking with torches and 25% bonus damage with pickaxes. Okay. Well, I like the... At least the increase in carry capacity that was the expedition one excavation what do you have one extra fragment from excavation sites and 20 percent chance to find a keystone an extra keystone oops oh my god i wish i could just bro you can just click on them and it'll move you okay i didn't know that um uh two extra Three extra. Give survey dig site power, which targets a nearby excavation site. That's cool. Gives locate relic power, which targets a nearby relic. But we have the compass that does that, don't we? Or the, the sextant, I think it was. Anyway, that tree seems all right. Uh, academia. Oh. Provide more gold and inventory to the explore. Oh, quartermaster shop. Sell price of your items, ten percent. Uh, you can spend one filled greater soul gem to rebuild a fallen automaton as a follower. That's cool. Automatons drop. Increase loot and possibility of fragments. Enables Dwemer fragment recipes. Ooh. Resistant to shock damage, critical hit chance, okay. Fire resistance, undead. Increase gem, gold, and possible fragments from those urns. Uh, provided a power that allows the caster to move unabated amongst the undead. Is that like a... <sighs> like, undead just don't attack you? Like, you just pretend to be a zombie? Like you're covering yourself in guts? Like The Walking Dead or something? Uh, poison? Okay, cool. Yield more resources and possible fragments. Mm. Okay. Um, not, uh, super excited about that. Uh, the... Uh, expedition one is probably the most useful I see out of that, but that's just right now. What the fuck? And where is our quartermaster? Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's 10 p.m. That's probably why. Uh, 
Oh, I never did talk to you. He's the one that sneezed. Okay, but I don't, I don't care. Farewell. Farewell. Victoria. Good Get day, up. Guild Master. Do you do special Absolutely. orders? Oh, Did she's the, I bet she's the. Uh, I wanted to buy some supplies in larger amounts from time to time. Oh, yes. Stock up, as it were. I'd imagine you are quite too busy to be bothered with doing the grocery shopping, after all. Oh, yes. Tell I'm what, far too busy. I put in orders just about every few days or so. If you like, you can just write me up an order. Is she just eating in bed back there? I'll try to get it for you. Just jot it down in your household planner in the safe house, and when I'm helping Orion clear out any of your cell card stuff, I'll check the list. Just leave plenty of gold in your treasury, and I'll just deduct it from that. Interesting. How do you know about my secret stash? Oh, well, Orion actually let it slip when we were talking about the add-on of the guild house one time, and how the building was developed and expanded over the years. Oh, it's crazy worry. that I just happened I to find that. Anyone else, and I'll just take what's needed to cover the cost. No extra fees or anything. Okay. Okay, great. So just jot down what types of supplies you want, and I'll get you an assortment of whatever I can find of that type. In order to get you the best prices available, I'll be buying in lots rather than honing in on one specific item. So it may be a bit random. That's cool. But you'll be paying rock bottom prices, and I'll manage to get a good assortment of things. Which I think will cover you nicely for crafting materials and the like. So just stock up your treasury, jot down what type of items you want me to look for, and I'll get shopping for you. Bruh. Each time I fill an order, I'll leave it in a crate in the workshop for you. Did they just the turn Skyrim time, into a fucking go. gotcha game? Just jot it down again. Bitch, I'm in. Who the fuck? I'll let that guy sleep. I don't even care. Ooh. Okay. Wait, what? Find those things. I thought I had those things. Yo, hold on. What? Journal. Oh, what the hell? Oh, see, I do have the... Oh, tools of the trade. Oh, these are all fucking. Bruh. Beacon resonant. Oh, tool bag. God damn it. That might be first on the fucking list to do because I love shit like that. Are they all marked on the map? Spyglass, torch. Yeah, they're all marked on the map. Holy shit. Okay, well, I'm gonna be fucking doing that for sure. Crazy that I just happened to pick up that map and found all that crap. That's awesome. I love this, man. This is awesome. There's just so much to this. It's stupid. But I am probably gonna call it here. Uh, I'll probably go outside first because then next episode for sure we're going to be uh, going out into the world, into the big, big open world of Skyrim. Let's go to the Hall of Heroes. Oh, I should have done the fucking entrance if I could have. Ah, run as fast as you can in the library. Clip through everything. Oh, wow. Oh, so good. Was that the original Skybox? I don't think so. That's insanity. But all right, uh, we'll call it here. This is super good mod pack and it has so much, so much. I have so much to learn, so much to learn. I thought I knew. I know nothing. Moon. Okay, see you in the next one.